If you've listened to me talk, you know I, I like to talk about the circle of tech and libraries um, because this stuff is a cycle and it comes and it goes and it returns. Um, it's almost Sisyphean, right? <laughs> so you have the new technology that comes out, right? And this can be anything. This can be a smartphones. This can be 3D printing. This can be any kind of technology that's new. And inevitably disruption occurs and that new tech is usually prohibitively expensive to the individual, right? When something new comes out, plasma TV, super expensive at the start, and it confuses a lot of people. The library then comes in and we provide training and access to the new technology. Understand that we have self learners, right? Some of us are self taught. So even providing access is an instruction, is a role in instruction uh, because then people can get hands on. So the library comes in, we provide training and access to a new technology. And then finally, your patrons, they become comfortable with the new technology. The price point drops over time and the need for library provided training and access tends to subside. And as it does, guess what? The cycle starts over because a new technology comes out, that disruption occurs, the library steps in with training and access. And then again, society becomes used to it, it becomes less expensive, widely available, and then we move on. So knowing this, how do we identify tech opportunities, right? What are those technologies we need to look at, we need to adopt, we need to provide instruction for our community? First, we have to determine when I should focus on a technology. When is a good time for your library to start adopting a role in instruction for a particular technology? Well, if it's causing disruption, that's a pretty good indicator for you, right? It's confusing, it's disruptive, it's got a lot of people out of sorts. The library has a role there. If it's got a buzz about it, uh, technologies that your patrons are talking about, you know, we, all of a sudden deep fakes, right, are super popular. If there's a buzz about it and there's interest in it, come in and provide authoritative information. Again, if a technology is prohibitively expensive for individual users, this is a great time to provide access, right? Many of us don't have a, uh, an office copy machine, right, at our house. It wouldn't make financial sense. It makes perfect financial sense for the library to have one of these and provide access and economy of scale. 3D printer, um, sure, some people have home use of these things, but it makes a heck of a lot of sense for the library to invest a few thousand dollars in a piece of equipment and to provide wide access to the community and that hands-on learning that can occur. And finally, when you're thinking about focusing on a technology for, you know, for instructing your community, you kind of need to make sure that your organization has in-house expertise, right? That you know what the heck you're talking about or that you have good referral information. And, and that's essential. You know, the accuracy of the information we provide is critical. You should take the time to make sure that you develop that in-house expertise to instruct others, or you can locate and vet information that may be a third party that's providing instruction.